My name is Jonas Birgesson. I'm a serial entrepreneur. I've created companies like Framfab, Bredbandsbolaget, and I'm at the moment running my third company called Labs2, where I'm the CEO. We're based in Sweden. Sweden has a very particular and interesting internet background. We have one of the highest broadband penetrations in the world. We had 10 megabits symmetric to the majority of cities in Sweden already in 98 and with very high PC adaptations. This, among other things, led to a very innovative climate that have created global phenomena such as CASA, Skype and then of course Pirate Bay. Today we're going to talk about the conflict that is revolving globally around intellectual property rights. And there's some really interesting lessons that I think that a broad audience need to get from the Swedish perspective. So the first lesson for me is a very important one and that is that there is no conflict between creator and consumers in this space. According to a very interesting survey done by Ulf Pettersson at Uppsala University, if you look on the revenue sharing, so of course the consumers pay 100%, how much of that actually goes to the people that create the content? His study shows that 2% on average goes to the people that create the content. And this is not only in music or film, this is for all of the different art forms that get intellectual property right contributions from the Swedish system. What of course this means is that if you today pay 20 euros for a music CD, that would be in Sweden after taxes be 16 euros. Then the people that actually created the music, they actually get 0, 32 euros. And of course this creates an enormous opportunity. What if the creator could sell more directly to the consumer? Let's assume that the creator would sell for one tenth of what the consumer pays today. So if you're a consumer, this means that you get a 90% discount. And based on the 1.6, you know, for the exactly the same material, the creator would now get five times more for exactly the same creation. So 90% discount for the consumer and 500% more money coming to the people creating the content, there is no conflict between creative people and consumers.